Well, hi there. This is a bullet ant. It is reported to have the most painful of all hymenopteran stings. The hymenopteran insects being the bees, ants, and wasps. This is according to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, created by entomologist Justin O. Schmidt, which scores hymenopteran stings based upon the pain they inflict on a scale of 1 to 4. We outlined it in more detail when we covered the velvet ant, or cow killer, which ranks as a 3 out of 4. Originally, there was only one four. This is it, the bullet ant. And we saw them rather often as we were exploring the rainforest for two weeks. They were one of the animals we were the most concerned about encountering. I think we all saw what happened to Coyote when he was stung. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And Will, despite my recommendation that he not, decided that he wanted to be stung. So he and Elliot, another crazy member of our team in the Peruvian Amazon, decided to take on the bullet ant challenge. I made Will wait until our last full day in the Amazon in case he was incapacitated following the sting. We had so much that we needed to document. And maybe time would allow him to make a wiser decision. This is just such a stupid idea. But knowing Will, once his mind is made up, He's going for it. And this is what happened. Oh, well, hi there. I'm William Atkinson, and I'm about to get bit by a bullet ant. And I'm Elliot Shanker. I'm going to do the same thing. Now, just bit? Oh, stung. Stung. Yes. Oh, that's much worse. Should be fun. That's We're doing it because worse. Clint told us to. That is so <laughs> not. Who, whose idea was this? It wasn't it yours? No. Yeah, you said we have to do it to get views. Sure that's <laughs> Tell the truth. It's a rite of passage. And. Uh, <laughs> You know, when you see something you're scared of, you should run towards it. Oh dear. That's my philosophy. Who told you this is not a good idea? Just about everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you want to show us your bullet ants? This, these are the largest ants in the world. And on the sting index, they have the worst of all hymenopteran stings. Oh, I thought you guys were going to administer the stings for us. No, you guys are administering to one another. What? Or yourselves. I don't know how to are do you, it. I've got, I've got tweezers. I've got a pair of pliers there for you. Okay. So it's going to sting me, and then I have to take it out? You do whatever you want to do. This is your <laughs> thing. My arm's too skinny. Did they get you? No, not yet. Oh. Where'd it go? It's on, it's on, on the, your hand. Oh, thank you. I'm shaking. Not as easy as it looks. Pretty hard to get stung with. I bet if you pin it down right now, it'll sting you. But like on the hand, I don't want it on the hand. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, here. It's in my arm. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, leave it. Ooh. All right, I got it too. Okay. Mine's in too. All right. It took There's a while to feel. Now what? Well, uh, is it in? Yeah. He's mad at you. He does not. It's really the, did you recontain your hand? Do I take it out? That's up to you. This is your you experience. You feel it? Yeah, I definitely feel it. I feel it. Okay, do I? Come on, buddy. Get it out of my hand. How bad is the pain, Elliot? The fire's just spreading slowly. <laughs> It's still pretty centralized right there on the spot. Is he like stuck or something? <laughs> yeah, his thing is... Will is just taking this like a champion at the moment. Come on. There we go. You got a pretty good welt already, don't you? So let us know what this feels like all along the way. It felt like a, a really strong bee sting. Yeah. It's just slowly uh, getting more and more powerful. <laughs> Where's yours? This doesn't look good for Coyote. You guys are just <laughs> calling this Hindu cows over here. Just the initial pain is not as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Do you want us to pretend it? No, <laughs> I, want, I want the truth. Okay. How, did, how does it hurt compared to your expectations? 
Well, it's it's less so far, I think. Yeah. Um, so the sting hurt when the stinger was in there, and now like I can feel it kind of throbbing a little bit. Yeah, throbbing and slowly spreading, but yeah. it's not as intense as I was expecting. Disappointment? So it's not debilitating. Yeah. And you're no. not feeling you not yet. else but on your arm? Yeah. Are these bullet ants? <laughs> I'm sure you got the right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's really not that bad. You should try it. Yeah, I think I it. think you guys yeah, all on. should try it. Yeah. I thought you guys would be freaking out. I thought I was too. I was ready to. It feels like almost like a boring into the skin. I don't know. Yeah. Just little spirals of pain. Yeah. A little welt here. Oh yeah. That's all I got. What if you were allergic to anyone now? Oh yeah. Well, at least you're on in, well, yeah, you're just several hours away mind. by boat from <laughs> any real medical attention. It's perfect timing. I will say my pulse is lower now than it was when I was really uh, nervous yeah. about the bite. Yeah. Is it, is it still getting worse or is it subsiding? No, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. So compared to like the wasp bites that you were getting earlier? More intense, but then it's fading quicker, or? Well, I don't think we've, either of us have gotten one. I haven't been stung oh, on this trip. Oh, you should have started with a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get the velvet. I think, yeah, should we do the velvet right now? On <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah well, that's, yeah, uh, let's get the velvet how, how does velvet compare? It's supposed to be one step lower. But I think it'll be worse. <laughs> we could try it. Yeah, you go. I released them, but I, the oh. one was wandering around still where we released it, so I could go check. Yeah, this was this was a little different than what I've generally seen on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we'll we'll keep up with these guys and see how they're feeling here in a few minutes and as the hours go by. But so okay. far, how would you rate this experience? Super minor. I had a migraine last night that was like a thousand times worse than this. Elliot, I rate it uh, six out of ten on the fun scale. <laughs> <laughs> Good experience. Okay, so it's been about two hours, and at first it only felt like a, kind of like a bee sting, and it had a kind of an aching pain. Um, but all of a sudden, I don't know if salt got into it or what, but it feels kind of like when salt gets into a wound. I've got a, a zing of nerves going all the way down to my elbow, and uh, goosebumps from pain. It feels very much like a, a searing burn. Uh, still not quite as bad as I expected, but I'm surprised I'm still feeling it two hours later. Can I, can I see the uh, actual screen? Let's see here. So let, I'm just going to try to get it from the side a little, see if there's any three-dimensional... Is it, is it a bump, or is it just... No, it's just like a, a rash almost. Okay. Actually, it no, there, it to the touch? there's a little bump right where the sting happened, and it feels kind of like zingy, like it's interacting with the nerves in my arm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll keep you updated. Okay. All right, so now it is the next morning. We're actually beginning our return home. We're in the city of Masan. And uh, Will had a very interesting night with respect to his bullet ant sting. So, uh, Will, yeah, yeah. give us an update. So I think I mentioned that it got worse about two hours in. Uh, it felt like burning, like a hot poker. Um, just kind of pushing in the spot that I got stung. Uh, here it is now. It kept it kept feeling that way until about 4 a.m. So I didn't sleep very well. It got to a point where there were goosebumps um, all around it, kind of like a, a painful. You know how you get goosebumps for burns sometimes. Oh, well, that's how it felt. Definitely felt like a burn and like achy. Um, so I didn't sleep very well last night. But when I woke up. I still feel it, but it's like way less. So I'm totally fine now. I just have a red mark. And that, I think that's the end of the bullet ant sting. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully no long-term effects. Yep. And this is Will. Will's a crazy man. All right, so Kay. Will has survived this experience. We, we were able to document in the field 
the first little bit of, yes. of how it went, but I know there was more to it. So, so will you just walk me through absolutely what it was like right from the beginning and, and what happened as time so went on? So I think part of the reason my reaction was so low was not because I was trying to play tough guy. I honestly wanted to have like a sobbing experience where I'm throwing up everywhere. That's what I was going for. And I was just waiting for it to come. I think if the bullet ant had just caught me off guard, mm. like it would have been a horrible experience. I might've, you know, cried or something. I don't know. But uh, it, it basically felt like a bee sting at first. And, you know, it was in there for a while, wiggling around. And yeah, that, yeah, you let it. Yeah. So kidding. That, that, that wasn't was so really bad. You know, it's like a, getting, uh, getting a needle in your arm, right? Like it's not, uh, it, it didn't hurt that bad. When it did hurt was about two hours afterwards. And I think Elliot's came sooner, um, but about two hours, all of a sudden it felt like a hot poker into my skin. And it, I started to get like the goosebumps that you get when you get burned, mm -hmm. um, kind of like pain goosebumps. And um, it, it hurt, but it didn't, it still did not hurt enough for me to feel nauseous. I'd had a migraine the night before, definitely worse than this experience. <laughs> I went to the dentist yesterday, definitely a worse experience. <laughs> what, what about what about the, the nose swab? Oh yeah, definitely. That was real bad, didn't you? Uh, okay, maybe yeah, you not. Had, you said you'd had those before, and uh, this one was way yeah, worse. She but... went way up there, yeah. foot long swab. <laughs> it felt like it. I couldn't remember it the previous so day afterwards. It was, it was bothering the back of my eyeball. Yeah, yeah, same here. Ugh. But about two hours until about 12 hours afterwards, it, the pain kind of stayed at the same level. And I think that was the worst part is that it just never went away. Mm -hmm. And so I was going to bed that night and it was hard to sleep because the fan blowing on me would irritate the skin around my, my sting. Yeah. So. so there was there was never a moment of excruciating, incapacitating pain. No. But it sounds like, you know, and it was sort of a delayed thing. Yeah. But, but it eventually got to a, a level that was irritating and made it difficult to sleep. Mm-hmm. And it just stayed there for about 10 hours. Yes. It, it really mm -hmm. honestly felt like I had rubbed my arm against like a hot pan that mm -hmm. came right out of the oven. Like it was, it felt like a burn. And then after the 12 hour period, it did itch, but like not nearly as much as like a mosquito bite. Like it, it just, it just itched. I've still got mosquito. We've been home for two weeks. Dang. I've still got mosquito bites. That's insane. It was, and they still itch. <laughs> really? I think mine have stopped itching. I've got bites. I've got I've got bites from the chigger mites that are yeah. they don't itch so much anymore, but they're still there a month later. That's insane. it's been a month That's since insane. I got those stupid things. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, oh, all the hymenopteran stings are gone. I did. I do still have a mark. You do. So how long has it been? It. Three been, weeks. Yeah. Well, it's been like two and a half weeks. Since two and, then. and a half weeks. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's yeah, like I can, a, I can see. It's going to be really difficult to see on camera, but you can see. Yeah, right there. It's it looks just a like little a discoloration, and it looks maybe a tiny bit elevated. Yeah, maybe. And I, I know, I know. You know, when I had the level three wasps, thing, yeah, um, I had a welt this big for a week afterward, and yeah. then it took it a while. It to sounds go like away. those wasps were killer. They, they were unpleasant. Yeah. I mean, you know, like it was, it definitely sucked. And yeah. then, but it wasn't. Again, I just don't think maybe that any hymenopteran stings if you just get one. Yeah. Is that big of a deal? I, you know, even even uh, the first night that we were there, mm -hmm. I got stung about three times in very rapid succession by wasps on my back. Yeah. And my, it wasn't that that was so bad though. They were very painful wasp stings. Right. Um, my biggest concern was I thought they might be bullet ants and I oh, got them just a yeah. few seconds apart. So it's like how many are on me? Cause yeah. you know, like, and, and, and if I'm, if I'm about to get 25 bullet ant stings. Yeah. Right. Like that's really concerning. If I would have known you're going to get three wasp stings from the beginning, it'd be like, okay. Well, you know what this means? We need to try two bullet ant stings. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know, for science. Yes. Yeah. So what did you learn from this experience? I learned that a bullet ant sting isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Um, and I felt like, uh, I grew as a person that could take a challenge. You know, I, I feel like uh, I have never thought I of faced, you as a person who can't take a challenge. I faced death in the face, <laughs> and I pursued death. Just for the record, you, th this is this is par for the course for Will. Uh, many years ago, uh, in one of our genetics videos, we wanted Will to pretend to eat a whole lot of hot sauce. 
Yeah, that's right. Will just got the hottest hot sauce he could and ate a huge quantity of it. Because Will is all about the but experience. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Yeah, and that one right. almost killed you, I think. <laughs> Probably yeah. closer than this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh dear. I'd like to say thank you to our patrons at Patreon for allowing me to go to the Amazon to be stung by a bullet ant and to come back and share that experience with you. If you want to see Will get stung by more things, <laughs> please consider checking out our Patreon. Well, cool. Anything else you want to add about this? I don't think so. Chasing down the bullet ant was probably the hardest part about the experience. <laughs> The anticipation, oh, yeah. trying to chase it down when it's crawling well, all over the table. That's the thing. I could do the bullet ant challenge now, having seen you do yeah. the bullet ant challenge, and it would be nowhere near as scary as what you did. Well, you know what helped was hearing um, Matt and both Matt, Matt both Matt and Gus had had bullet ant stings. Mm -hmm. and, Cage. Yep, Matt Cage and Gus, and they said it was no big deal. And so I knew I wasn't going to die. And they downplayed it, so I was willing to take the challenge. My only, my only knowledge of this was what I had seen Coyote do. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's burning more! It's getting worse! And so I just, I thought, no. Will's gonna be out of commission for at least the rest of the day, maybe a couple days. Right. And it's like- we, And we were leaving that next morning, right? Well, well I, and I needed you to wait till then because we had too much to film. <laughs> Before then, I'm like, please don't do this sooner. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, yeah, and it was, but but I feel like now, the only real risk I think associated with it is, what if you are allergic? But, yeah. you know, you probably, I mean, you've had other hymenopteran stings in your life. You probably yeah. have a decent handle on whether or not you're allergic to hymenopteran stings. And I don't hear about people with really adverse reactions to ants and wasps nearly as much as bees. Right, yeah. Um, so yeah, really, it was it was fascinating, very eye opening, um, and yeah. you are a very brave person, Thank which you. I, that. I you know, brave or crazy, <laughs> and uh, you know, and that but that was that was a lot of what made uh, going there so much fun with you because you are up for adventure. Okay, brave or crazy, leave your opinion in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Will. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. I'm going to give you my thoughts, but what do you think of this experience? I had two takeaways. First, having been stung by a wasp that scores a three and maybe by a bullet ant the night before Will's sting, as I never saw what it was, but I had similar symptoms and a similar welt, I can say that maybe no hymenopteran sting in isolation and barring an allergic reaction is that potent. Yes, some do hurt, but none are more than an interesting experience. Will said that getting the deep dive COVID test before we could leave Peru was more unpleasant. It was a really bad one. But the problem with hymenopteran stings is really what happens when you get dozens or hundreds of them at the same time. The second thing is that maybe I understand a little better why we've never had a viral video. Because a guy looking at his arm going, oh, yeah, it's really starting to burn. Just isn't as exciting as a guy writhing around on the ground in agony. But maybe it's more real. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Blood in the feces, huh? Um, how does that happen? I don't know. Depends on where you let it sting you.